Another item that we need to take in consideration when installing LEDs and you're going to be using a dimmer is to make sure that the dimmer you're using has the capacity to handle the driver and the LEDs, the total load. If you look at your LEDs instructions, you'll see that they may be rated. A lot of times uh, the standard is usually 600 watts and uh, or uh, 153 watts uh, with CL dimmers. Uh, you just need to check your, your dimmer. Some dimmers can go up to a thousand watts. I've even seen them up to 1200 watts. But uh, you need to take in consideration what the total wattage of your dimmer is. To calculate if you're uh, within the acceptable wattage range, you need to figure out what the total wattage of your LEDs are. Let's say this is 100 watts. And then another factor is the driver. Now, the full max wattage, let's say um, this is a 100 watt um, driver. Now, you're not calculating the total wattage. You're using 100 watts here. What you're looking at is the efficiency of the driver and how much power this driver is con uh, going to consume. So let's say the efficiency of this is 90%. So if the efficiency of the driver is 90%, then 90% is being used for the LEDs. You have 10% that's consumed by the driver to make it operate, which would give you 10 watts being consumed by the driver. So what you do is you would add the 100 watts from the LEDs and the 10 watts for the driver being consumed by the driver, which gives you 110 watts felt by the dimmer. Now, you see that we have a large capacity here, so we're not even close. But what you have to take in consideration is if you have multiple drivers connected to the same dimmer. And then you'd have to do the calculation for each driver and load and then do the math, add it up, and then determine if you're still within the range.